Hey, friendo, Steve here. Welcome back to the channel. It's time for my Elimination Chamber predictions for the year 2023. Should be a fun card. It's coming up this coming Saturday. We're going to be watching it live over at Going In Raw, youtube.com slash Stephen Larson and twitch.tv forward slash Stephen Larson. So be sure to join us for the festivities. Should be fun. Let's kick things off with the Women's Elimination Chamber match. So I'm totally stealing this idea from Larson because it makes all the sense in the world. I feel like Asuka is going to eliminate everybody in this match single-handedly. I don't think anybody's going to get any other eliminations. I think she's going to eliminate Raquel, Liv, Carmella, Natalia, and Nikki. Why? Because look at that field. It's pretty weak. There's no Ronda, no Becky, no Bailey, no Charlotte, no Rhea, no Bianca. And if they want to give us the idea that Bianca Belair is facing an actual challenge at WrestleMania with Asuka... Uh, they can do something like that where Asuka just sort of eliminates the entire field, makes her look really strong. She's got a great look. Her attitude is much more aggressive now as this sort of Kana version of Asuka. Uh, and so, yeah, you just sort of, you know, look, Raquel's not doing anything right now. Liv Morgan's not doing anything right now. They're probably going to end up being a tag team of some sort. Carmella just got back, and so she's not in anything right now. Natalia kind of never does anything, really. And then Nikki Cross, and she's just sort of stalking people. So it's a relatively weak field. I think Asuka's probably going to eliminate everybody. I feel bad for stealing that answer from Larson, but that's just what happens sometimes. Let's move on to the men's elimination chamber match. I think this one's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really happy they put Montez Ford in this match. I think he's going to add a dynamic to it that there's going to be a lot of cool stuff happening. Johnny Gargano, he's really good. Bronson Reed. This is a stacked lineup in terms of talent for the Elimination Chamber match uh, on the men's side of things. Who wins? Austin Theory wins. Why? Because what's he going to do at WrestleMania? If you've been paying attention, he's been mocking John Cena, saying the champ is here, the champ is here. If you guys remember, John Cena had his United States Championship Open Challenge Series back in the day on SmackDown, and that's what Austin Theory is going to do at WrestleMania. John Cena will answer, and Austin Theory will get a win there. If you look at what everybody else is doing, it kind of makes sense as well. Seth Rollins has Logan Paul at WrestleMania. That's not going to have a title involved. Plus, Seth has already been United States champion like a bunch, and I feel like he's kind of above that title. He's going to be having world title aspirations uh, by the summertime. <clears throat> Moving on, uh, Damian Priest, he's in Judgment Day. The title's kind of above him. The title's probably around like the Finn Balor level, although I feel like Finn should be in the world title scene. Uh, Bronson Reed, unfortunately, at this point, gets no crowd reaction whatsoever. The title would just die on him. I mean, he does really cool stuff, and I feel like if he continues to do really cool stuff, the crowd will come around to him, but he needs a bit of a character and otherwise, yeah, like the other night, even in the the great, you know, Barkley Center, uh, he, he just wasn't getting any reaction. Uh, Johnny Gargano, I feel like they're probably waiting for Tommaso Ciampa to do anything with Johnny Gargano. He's kind of cold right now, coming back from injury. Hopefully, Ciampa will be back in time for WrestleMania, but that might be a post-mania return, and they'll put Gargano and a bunch of these other guys, maybe if they do the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. I don't know if they're going to do that this year. And then Montez Ford, he's great. I love him. I think he could be a terrific singles competitor, but he's not a singles competitor. He's in a tag team. Wouldn't make any sense at all to give him the U.S. title and put him in a tag team. I think they'd have to break up the Street Profits before they get that title on Montez. But uh, I'm actually pulling for, uh, who am I pulling for here? I think I'm pulling for uh, for Priest. Priest or Ford or Gargano. Priest, Ford, Gargano. I mean, that's like mo most of the field there. Uh, let's move on. Beth and Edge versus the Judgment Day. Uh, I believe it's a team of what Rhea Ripley and Finn Balor here. So Beth and Edge are gonna are gonna win this match. Uh, Finn will have to end up taking the eating the pin here, um, but they're gonna do a thing like they always do with Judgment Day, where they'll lose, but then they'll quote unquote get their heat back, uh, and that's gonna lead to a match. Edge versus Finn Balor, probably the demon at WrestleMania, where Finn, as the demon, can get that win over Edge. I know it seems like Triple H is a really big fan of Finn Balor and Judgment Day, and so it seems to make sense now that Edge is basically on his way out. Him and his wife can win this match. It'll probably be a ton of fun. We'll see Dom eat another glam slam. 
but they're going to win this, and then Judgment Day will just attack them and uh, and get their heat back. That's an insider term for the crowd reaction. Anyways, uh, let's move on to Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley. I feel like they're going to do the same kind of thing with this match as the one I just talked about, where Brock's going to win. He's going to win decisively, but... The Hurt Business is going to reform officially and beat down Brock Lesnar after the fact, probably to motivate another match between these two at WrestleMania. Um, Brock obviously got the short end of the stick on the contract signing on the Go Home episode of Raw. Bobby Lashley stood tall. Usually when you stand tall, you end up losing uh, the match uh, at the next pay-per-view. So Brock, he ate a lot of shit from Bobby Lashley. So I feel like Brock is going to end up winning this match. But like I said, I also feel like this is a great time for the Hurt Business to get back and beat up Brock after this match. Let's talk about the match everybody's talking about. Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns. What are they going to do in this match? I've seen and people have talked about it. Even Cody Rhodes on the Ariel Helwani MMA Hour uh, show said was asked, what would you think of this turn into a triple threat? At WrestleMania, Sami Zayn, Cody Rhodes, and Roman Reigns. He'd be like, line them up, bring them on. That's what he said, basically. I'm paraphrasing. Um, so I don't think that's going to happen, though. I don't think they're going to use this match to justify getting Sami Zayn into the main event at WrestleMania. I think they're going to use this match to justify Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens taking on the Usos at WrestleMania because I think that's what's going to happen. So here's how I see this playing out. I wrote this down. That's how uh, detailed I'm getting here. So there's no Usos. They're not involved in this match. They're going to stay at home. So what happens in a normal Roman Reigns match these days when there's no Usos? I'm not sure. Solo's probably going to be out there. I mean, he'll be available. He'll probably come out at some point, come out through the crowd or whatever. So this is what happens. We get a ref bump. There's always a ref bump in a Roman Reigns match without the Usos. So you get a ref bump. Sammy hits a Haluva kick. Maybe the second one of the match, maybe Roman's already kicked out of one Huluva kick, and that gets Sammy freaked out. He's got that imposter syndrome that we saw in Raw and that terrific promo between him and Cody Rhodes. So Sammy hits a second Huluva kick, pins Roman, but there's no ref to call it. The crowd is one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. Solo, while the ref is down, hits Sammy with a Samoan spike. Roman pins. Sammy kicks out at 2.999. Roman hits a spear. Sammy kicks out again. The crowd's going crazy at this point. We get a second ref bump because, yes, they usually do two ref bumps. Roman hits a low blow. Solo hits Sammy with the title. Roman hits a spear. Sammy loses. Roman and Solo then attack Sammy. They start beating the crap out of him. Jay comes down. He's not even supposed to be there. But Jay has left Jimmy back home, and Jay has come down Everybody thinks he's going to make the save because Sammy said to Jay on SmackDown, I acknowledge you, but he doesn't. He joins in on the beatdown on Sammy Zayn. Crowd is just raining down with the booze. Kevin Owens comes out, makes a save with a chair, fends off the bloodline. They leave. They're victorious. Kevin Owens has saved Sammy Zayn the same way Sammy laid down for Kevin Owens back at that last pay-per-view. Um, and, and that's it. Roman Reigns gets the win, but it's in your head that Sami Zayn could totally beat Roman Reigns. What happens after that? Of course, after that, uh, Sammy and Kevin get on the same page and, uh, but Sammy calls out Jay Uso said, Hey man, you had a chance. You had a chance to leave and you blew it. And then Jay's going to be like, I'm bloodline. And Sammy's going to say, well, the only thing that will destroy the bloodline even more and set you free is if I take those titles from you and me and Kevin Owens are going to do that. And I feel like if they tell that story properly enough, the crowd will really be into it and they'll accept that match instead of Sami Zayn going into WrestleMania into the main event. I think that Sami and Kevin Owens versus the Usos is the way they're going to go. And by the time they get there, we're all going to want to see that. That's what I think. Anyways, uh, so yeah, check that out uh, and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win in each of these matches? We've got Bobby versus Brock, Judgment Day versus the Grit Couple, the Men's Chamber, the Women's Chamber, and uh, what did I not mention here? The main event, Roman versus Sammy. What do you guys think is going to happen? Let me know your fantasy booking scenarios in the comments below. 
do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll see you at this other video.